equals MC delta T, guys. Okay. Now, in number six here, we have a 2.00 uh, times 10 in a squared sample of water at 80 degrees Celsius mixed with 2 times 10 to the gram sample at 10 degrees Celsius in a calorimeter. A calorimeter is basically a container that keeps heat in. So you have Q of one water equal to the Q of two waters because we're going to mix them. Yeah? And it says find the final temperature. So MC delta T of one equals MC delta T of two. Okay? Obviously, the masses are equal. Okay? Because they both say 200. Both say 200. Okay? So what can we do? We can cross them out. Are we both working, are we working with water here? Does it have the same heat capacity? Cross them out. What's the change in temperature of the first one? Well, we don't know it. It was 80 degrees at first. What's delta T mean? What's delta T? Change. T2 minus T1. Okay, so we got T2 minus T1 of the first one equals T2 minus T1 of the second one. That's if they have equal mass, you can do that. If they don't have equal mass, you can't do this. All right, what was the first temperature of the first one? 80. What's the first temperature of the second one? 80. Can you algebra that? Okay. All right. What is it? Add 10. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot a negative sign. My bad. Should be negative. Should be negative. Okay, good. Negative. My bad. Because because one is receiving heat and one is giving away heat. That's why. My bad. I'm sorry. One is endothermic and one is exothermic. Sorry. If it's giving away heat, Ryan, it's exothermic. It's giving off heat. That would be the hotter one. If it's absorbing heat, it would be the positive one. That's the endothermic. So the colder one, okay, it doesn't matter. Just as one is long, long as one is negative, one is positive. My bad, folks. My bad. Okay. So T2 minus 80 equals negative T2 plus 10. <sighs> Sorry about that, Chris Jernigan. My bad, man. I didn't mean to upset the universe. I apologize. Okay. So here we go. T2 equals negative T2. Um, sorry, T2 plus 80 plus 90, my bad. T2 plus 90 equals negative T2. Okay, so what's our final temperature going to be, guys? Minus 90. T2 minus 90 equals negative T2. All right. <sighs> Subtract T2 from both sides. Negative 90 equals negative 2T2. So what's my final temperature? 45 degrees Celsius. That's algebra, dude. Again, I apologize for forgetting the negative. So the reason why one of them is negative is because you here you have a hot. This is hot. Okay, you're going to mix it with the cold. All right. And which way does the heat go? The heat goes from the hot to the cold. So one of them is negative, one of them is positive. It doesn't matter which one you choose is negative or positive, but that's that's how it goes. Right, James? 45 degrees. Questions? Period. <laughs>